Hollywood fathers are trash and I don't feel like we're talking about it enough. I love stream later girl from around the way where we have culture conversation and community and in today's video I'm coming to y'all with some quick commentary about the foolishness that I've been seeing on social media with these fathers girl the fathers of Hollywood the fathers of hip-hop are like terrible they're really terrible and it really just reflects these terrible ass ninjas in real life period I normally don't come to y'all on no Saturday but this cute little Saturday I was like oh I might as well. I'm making this video on Saturday. If it's a Saturday, girl, it might be Sunday, <laughs> Tuesday, knowing me with my editing schedule by the time we see this. But I just feel like it's worth mentioning. Like, I was just scrolling on the shade room, ying, 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 minding my business. Girl, this curl's getting on my nerve. Ying, ying, minding my business. And I seen 50 Cent post this. And I feel like he's taunting his firstborn son, Marquise. Now, he was just all over the blocks just recently trying to reach out to his father he was kind of trolling him a little bit with the whole six i'm gonna give you six thousand seven hundred dollars to spend some time with me that six thousand seven hundred dollars was the amount that his father was paying in child support for all those many years when the mother was being ordained to greedy for 50 cents money um so he ended up 50 cent ended up going to court and putting himself on child support to lower the amount of payments so um not the amount but y'all know the the value of the payments y'all get what I'm saying so Marquise hits him up and was just like you know I want to talk to you man to man he goes on it you know makes this long post about you know the picture that I took because uh 50 cent famously or infamously talks about how why he decided why he decided to stop talking to his child and the reason being is because he said he took a photo with people who um, were trying to unalive him. So, listen, um, he says, this happened so many years ago, I'm a grown man now, talk to the man, you know what I mean? Talk to me about it, stop going to social media. 50 then goes to the breakfast club, this is just a quick synopsis for people who don't really know what's going on. 50 then goes to the breakfast club and says, hey, you know, if if it wasn't for clout, if it wasn't for money, if it wasn't for this, then he could have just reached me. You know what I'm saying? But when he first said that, I knew it was some BS because 50 doesn't seem like, you know, he is going to um, be like, yeah, here's my number. And if anybody on the team knows that this is Marquise, it doesn't seem like he's going to be like, I'm going to pass along this message and possibly, uh, you know, terminate myself because I know that you have beef with this person. So for him to say that, you know, oh, well, he could have just hit me is 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 not the case it's not the case for most celebrities mm -mm, let me turn this down some okay girl because i was real i was real bright um it's not the case for most celebrities you get what i'm saying when you make a certain amount of money like you people especially men black men i can see them white men shit, they already got the god complex but y'all get what i'm saying like they have this god complex where they live in a bubble you can't they don't they don't go to the grocery store like me and you they don't have these these things that it's just so normal to them for him to say oh he could have just hit my phone that's not normal that's the case shit <laughs> you know what i mean we see 50 cent to me trolling everybody you know 50 is known to be this petty cancer he's gonna troll you if you owe him money um and he's you know if, if he, you know I, I could cut all ties with my family and my blood if they're gonna disrespect me or whatever but like Becoming a mom myself, I realize that parents are just humans. And like whatever whatever age you decide to have these children, you kind of have that dynamic. And what I mean by that is if I was a teenage mom, then when I have my kid, I've experienced my mom in a different way than if I were to have another child at 30, right? Because I'm a different person. 50 is so petty and so immature to not have had even him initiated a conversation with his own son. We're, we are allowing this man to be out here. Oh, they say this is a big rich town. Now granted, I love power and the power universe and all of these things and he is, you know, successful. Although we know that he gives very much like, I don't care, I'm gonna go after black women. He says some, you know, some disparaging things. 
over the course of his career. Nobody's human. I mean, everybody's human. Nobody's perfect. I'm not here to judge anybody. But 50 has done some shady things. Very shady. You get what I'm saying? To, to you know, hurt women that look like me and you. You know what I mean? Women who, uh, who give it up like how we give it up. You feel what I mean? And... And in the same, and out of the same conversation, 50 Cent has done a lot for the communities. 50 Cent, I've seen him, you know, he'll, he'll hop out in the hood with Cuban Link and everything like this and get for charity and put a lot of black people in position to work, to produce, to act, to write, all of these things. He will reach back, He you look what he did for Monique and, you know, all of these things. I'm not taking it away from him, but let's talk about the personal stuff because when you are really successful, and you have the opportunity and the ability to help people, you become above reproach. And I feel like we are not holding the fathers that are in the media, that are in the socialite, at the same, at, to the same standard that we do women celebrities. We're just not. If a woman, yes Mom. baby, yes. If a woman were to be like, oh this is my son and I just, I'm just not gonna deal with him no more because whatever the case, we will be dragging her. And at every chance, and at every every opportunity, they will be using that against me. You ain't even, you don't even talk to your kids. You a deadbeat mom. But well, what about all of the deadbeat fathers? It's because they've made so much money. Music is just that good that we can't, you know, hold their feet to the fire a little bit. Because look at the situation with Akbar B. Akbar B had didn't have her children you know she was a product they were a product of the r word and all of these very 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 heavy things to deal with right and whenever she gets into an issue with twitter the first thing people say you ain't even got your kids you know all of these things and i'm not saying no akbar is a piece of work baby akbar is a piece of work i am not i'm just saying to give you an example of how it's just not fair and the double standard is so apparent Right? Look at what Caesar did to his daughter. Nobody said nothing. It was just like a quick little buzz and then it went under the rug. That young man was pouring his heart out. I want to have a relationship with you. Talk to me. You get what I'm saying? As a black man to black man, you are my father. I come from you and what's so crazy is he looks so much like him. And 50 Cent can continue on like, oh, whatever. And nobody in the industry is like, 50, now that's wrong. Nobody is like, I don't really deal with him. And I guess that is this is the whole conversation of let's separate the art from the person. I don't want to deal with, I wouldn't want to buy from a business or a company that I know is racist and anti-black. But yet and still, y'all still gripped in Gucci, okay, my Poochie gown and everything else, right? But I just feel like as a community, we hold different standards to these fathers. T.I. is another one who is just out of control, him and this Charleston White situation. One minute King is a kid, the next minute I'm the adult you talk to me. And I'm just sick of it. I just saw that and it just pissed me off real quick. I ain't gonna talk y'all ear off because y'all know I can, but I won't. And on this good Saturday, I wanna know what y'all think about the situation. Do y'all think that 50 has dragged, he struck it out long enough to me, I feel like. But you have all of the resources in the world. You mean to tell me you ain't you ain't think to be like, dog, let's go to this family counseling. You never once in all of these years. And he's been cut off for years. And you're gonna post a picture of you and your other son in the in the PJ. And it's given very much like, um, I saw something on TikTok where Corey Holcomb was just like, you know, if the father didn't love the mother, he, do he doesn't really love the children. And it's starting to like, that's starting to make sense to me. Because here you are, you have this other kid with this non-black woman, and now it's like, oh, this is my this is my token child. But you have a, a kid that looks just like you, and you won't even be open to a conversation for things that he's done as a child. Does that make sense, y'all? Drop down in the comments. Let me know. Let's get the conversation going on this cute Saturday or Sunday, whenever you, whenever we gonna do it. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I will see y'all in the next video.